Hey, we're Living Life Church. Pastor Brian here. I hope that you are blessed by what we're seeing in the book of Leviticus. I hope that you're seeing that it's all about Jesus. But I'm, I'm wondering if you're starting to get the sense on Sunday mornings that we're just scratching the surface because that's all we're doing. On Sunday morning, the best I can do is give a, an overview and then show you Jesus in the scriptures. What I would really want you to be doing is every day be digging into your Bible as a student of the Bible and, and be reading and, and be studying and be getting your hands dirty and be praying through it and be working in it and be meditating on it so that you can really grow in the riches of God's Word. And I realize sometimes that's tough. And so if you don't own a study Bible... I want you to consider making an investment in your own Christian journey, in your understanding of God's Word, and going out and buying a study Bible. It will be well worth it if you get a good one. How do you know if you've got a good study Bible? Well, there's lots of study Bibles out there. Some of them are, are written by just one person, and you get the Bible, and then you get some occasional notes about what they thought about this text or that text. And that's okay, but I don't think that's great. I think what you want to look for is one of these study Bibles where they've, the, the publishers have gone out and they've grabbed all these scholars and all these pastors and practitioners and said, look, with this whole big team, with this person with an expertise in, in this one book, and this person with an expertise in the history, and this person with an archaeological expertise, and this person a New Testament scholar and an Old Testament scholar and a, and a long-practicing wise pastor, let's all pool our collective resources and, and let's trust the Holy Spirit would guide us with the best that God has given us and let's write down... I'm not saying it's inspired, but it is a gift to us that these people have dedicated their lives to this. They write down what they know and understand about their respected field in a study Bible. So you get a study Bible like, like the ESV study Bible. Great study Bible. Uh, when you open this thing up, you get, of course, the Bible, the Word of God. And then next to it, you get... Um, you get some cross-references, so you can look around in the Bible at, at other verses that have to do with the same topic. You get all kinds of just verse-by-verse -verse notes and background and just that helpful information. Plus you get maps and you get timelines and you get diagrams. Uh, we're in Leviticus. You're going to see uh, in, a, in a good study Bible, you're going to see you know a picture of the tent of meeting and maybe the altar and maybe the priest's clothing and, and maybe you're going to get these little, you know, these little snippets, these boxes that help you summarize uh, the five uh, primary offerings in that book and whatnot. And these things are just so helpful as you are studying. Right? It, it just it helps you in your own journey. You know, another good one if you're looking for a recommendation is the Holman Christian Standard Bible, the Study Bible version. You know, really, really good pictures. It's very colorful if you like that. It's got lots of good background, lots of good diagrams. Uh, there are a lot of good study Bibles out there. I love these two. I would probably say that the ESV Study Bible is on the top of my list. I just want to encourage you to make that kind of investment. Now, I also want to ask that this week you dig into Leviticus chapter 8. Pastor Kevin Lund is going to be preaching this week at Redeeming Life. He's a borrowed elder from Risen Life. Uh, he's preached before. He's been a, a, just a, a great teacher. And so I want you to be prepared to hear from the Word of God and respond to the message that he brings. And be praying for him as he's coming to teach and feed us, church. Also, uh, Pastor Brett's going to be leading worship and handling all those various things that happen on Sunday morning and going into the week because... Lisa and I are headed to go visit one of our fantastic supporters. We're going to go meet them face-to-face -face in Nashville, Forest Hills Baptist Church. So I just want to encourage you to be praying for all the stuff that's going on. And I really want to encourage you as a student of the Bible, as a follower of Jesus, open up the Word of God and dig in and use all these tremendous resources that we are so blessed to have at our fingertips. We'll see you Sunday.